Good afternoon, everybody. Can't you tell the sun's shining? We've got aircraft flying all over the place today. It's, uh, it's lovely here and nice, just a nice little breeze, I would say. But uh, not complaining at all. It's nice to have a bit of warmth, isn't it? So, uh, all right, you notice today I've got two tiles. Obviously, the regular size, I've got a nice pink one. And I've got a tiny tile, which is the uh, the dark grey. I thought we'd use both today. Now, before you get panicked and worry, please don't. If you haven't got any tiny tiles, it really doesn't matter. You can do this particular design just on one tile. It's just a nice way of uh, of getting in the, the two different colours and you know adding a bit of colour without colouring in, so to speak. So, hi, everybody. If you've got one, that's great. But... Let's just have a look so you can sort of see the, the size. You've got a nice border around the outside. They're about five centimetres square. I say about because I cut them. <laughs> so they could be slightly different, but that's okay. So what else do I have as well as my tiny tile and my regular size? I've got a little bit of blue tack, tiny little bit, because I'm just going to sort of blue tack it on because I, I want to work on the two together and uh, I don't want to sort of have to join it and tape it down at all. So that's okay. Uh, what else do I have? A new, I've actually cracked open a new pen. Ooh, I've got my pencil, sharp pencil today. I've had my sharpener in. I've got a torty on, a rubber just in case. I have got my white pastel pencil. There you go, my chalky pencil. So uh, that's sort of at the side in case I need it as well. Of course, by all means, bring in coloured pencils and things like that, but I'm just going to work with those for now. So first thing then, if you've not got a little tile let's, let's say it's not to worry you want to draw yourself a square inside there so i'm just going to sort of do that just to give you an idea of where it's going to be this is we're going to do a few borders just as guides today so you know this is not the the only line but there we go so you see you're just going to get that in the middle okay so that border i would say is about two thicknesses of my pencil just so you get an idea and we're all working in the same sort of size. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm even going to take half of that blue tack away. There we go. I'm just going to put a little bit, just sort of flatten it in the middle. There we are. Just going to hold that in place. All right. So now I'm going to treat it as one tile. So if that's what you've done here, um, you've just drawn around it or you've drawn your, your board, you're working in exactly the same way as I am, okay? So let's go a little bit larger, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is again, on the inside here, I'm just gonna come on in and I'm gonna draw another border. Now I'm gonna keep this light, so I'm gonna press on a little bit more so you can see it, but you wanna keep this light because you're not gonna sort of keep it, if that makes sense. All right, okay, there we are. And then whilst I'm at it, I'm gonna do another one here. Now I'm gonna get two in here. So if we imagine splitting the space there, you see? And again, I'm gonna bring that tile in again that we used earlier. And I'm gonna create a border around the top there we go and then a border there okay so a, I know there's a few squares going on but it all makes sense and it's just nice to have that little bit of a guideline to help and we'll, uh, we'll do them all as we're going there we go so one there and then another one down here again John's rule is still in my car I'm gonna have to get that out there we are see so I've got that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come in with pen. There we go. And starting at the centre sort of here. You see with these sort of four lines that we've drawn here. So what I'm going to do is start at this tip. Instead of drawing line down, I'm going to create a little bit of a curve. Okay. That's why we didn't need that line too dark. So you can do it that way. The same here. Okay, I'm turning it round. Same here. I'm turning it round. So the same here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little 
bobble on the end there. So it looks like I've sort of drawn this and I've gone round. There we go. And same here. Same here. Don't worry if they're not the same size. It was just about having that little curl. Okay. All right. So just for a minute, back to pencil. I want to put a mark sort of in the middle here, but not right at the top there, just about here. The same there, look. And there. And there. Okay, so they're sort of about across. And then I'm going to come and do the same again. I'm going to go from this dot to this dot, but as a curve. again. There we go. And again. Uh, oh, low, low flying aircraft. <laughs> and again. All right. So we've got that kind of shape. Just to make life a little bit easier now, I'm just going to remove that pencil line that I had earlier. Just don't want it to confuse and get in the way. Okay, so that's our sort of shape we've got there. And again, we've left that little bit because I just want to put that little loop in the top there. Okay. It's quite a, a nice combination, I think, this dark grey and this lighter pink. It's, uh, it's really quite nice. I'm liking it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, Charlotte. No, you're not late. Don't worry about it. We've we've done a couple of squares. You can see here we've got a couple of guides just to give us a bit of a hand. So uh, we're not we're not too far in. Okay. So you notice that they're not exactly in the centre, but please, I don't want you to worry about that. That's what gives it its characteristics and a little bit of life, really. So um, don't don't sort of think it's got to be absolutely spot on centre. All right, you can see here I'm just putting a little bubble in, but underneath then and come into this one. So it sort of goes around a bit. You see, I didn't lift my pen up there; <laughs> it's gone out, but it's okay. There we are, and the same again. And again, I've not tried to match that with the side or this side. I've just done that sort of single section there. And left it at that. Okay. Oh, it's going to put that because I've got a bit of blue tack under there. So ready for the next bit? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these sort of little bubble shapes now, and I'm going to sort of work from in the middle, and I'm going to come on up and add in a line that goes all the way up to that line there, and then the next one. All right, bit intriguing at the minute. And then same again on this one, up all the way to the line. Of course, if you've got a single tile, you will be doing exactly the same. It's just that my tiny tile's sitting uh, on, the, on the tile itself there. Okay. Uh, Pat, I have stuck it. When I say I've stuck it, I've used a, you know, I can show you. I've used a little bit of uh, blue tack. There you go, look. Because I've numbered it on the back and everything as well. So there you go, just a little bit and then I've just put it in place. I have drawn round it, but you, you really don't have to. But there you go, it's in place. Okay. Just keeps it there whilst you're drawing because we're wanting to sort of use it as a single tile. But uh, it's kind of... They are great, you know, if you, you wake up in the morning and you think, ah, I've got five minutes. It's just doing a five-minute tangle. It's almost like doing the one in your diaries, if you've got your diary, and you're still doing your tangle a day. It just works like that, really, to do something just to get you going. Or sometimes you want to do something, you think, I don't really want to do a full tile. I haven't got that kind of time. So you just do a little one, that's fine. Okay, all right, so next one then. 
let's uh, have a look at this next bit. Now you see here, I've got this line and this line. So what I want to do is create a curve going from one to the other. You notice I've stayed within that, that shape. It's nice to have a guide sometimes. And then next one, round we go and along. Next one. Now, see, I'm doing all the corners first. I think it's it's nice to get those done because then you're sort of in the mode. It's all about that repetitiveness and just maintaining that so you don't sort of stress yourself out and try and worry about too much at once. See, I look. Then, of course, this one. I'm going to join from here. Now, this time, you see, I am going over the line a little bit. But that's okay. All right. Turn my tile. And same again. And my tile. And same again. And again. And there we go. All right, so let's have a little look at where we're at with that. Okay, so quite a nice sort of shape forming. Very stylized flower kind of thing, isn't it? But we've still got another level to go, so. Bear with me with that. Okay, ready for the next bit? I love the colours. I think it's really nice together, isn't it? It'd be nice actually to bring, I might even do that, bring a grey pen out onto this to do a bit of work. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to do the similar thing again. You know, we did these lines from here. I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to sort of work my line from here. So it's from the middle of that little curve there, all the way along until I reach that second line that we drew. And then turn it again, same again. See, it's only quite a little space there, but that's okay. And then again, see all the way into that corner. And this is why we, we use those guidelines because we don't need to worry about how far or how close those lines are gonna be. And then to this one, touching that corner there. I know Ray, it's lovely isn't it because it's sort of attached to it now. It just gives it that little bit of a change. So up here. They are kind of nice. Oh they do Charlotte don't they? The, the colours are just work. I did toy with the idea of using tangerine. I do love that tangerine colour. But I'd end up with, my, well, I have actually got a little memory book, all tangerine, haven't I? So I thought, no, I'll be different. <laughs> okay. So now you see this time I've got a little bit further to travel, but I'm going to work on the same same idea. So the idea is, is just relax first. Don't try and think, oh, my goodness me, I've got to try and put a curve in this large space. Just relax your hand and just sort of move it along and let the pen do the work. Not you. Let the pen do the work. You just relax a little bit. So same again, look. I'm sort of moving my wrist rather than. Okay, same again. Of course, if you find it easy to do it this way, then by all means do it this way. But for me, this is the, uh, this is the way it works. And you might notice, well, I've moved my hand a little bit further up, just a little bit higher. So uh, it just means I can move, you know, sort of manipulate it a little bit easier without feeling that I've got to really sort of strain my, my wrist or anything. I'm not, I'm not holding it tight. I'm just being nice and gentle with it. From one to the next, okay? And let's go again. Now, apologies if anybody's emailed me uh, today I've, uh, I've been I've been doing a bit of design work and when I do that I, I tend to leave my phone <laughs> out of reach because if I'm I'm not careful I end up answering all the emails and not getting any design work done so uh, I will get round to them I've just got a few more bits to finish and then I'll get to them so uh, I've not forgotten you I'm not ignoring you I'm just uh, I'm just drawing something <laughs> Working, of course, you know, colouring in is working. 
All right, I'm just going to rub out those lines now. Yours should be fine because you've done it quite lightly. But I've, I've always gone a bit darker because I want you to see them on camera. There we go, see? So that's what I'm left with. So I've got this lovely sort of shape. Lots of things to go on there. And it's like, oh my goodness, what am I going to fill it in with now? So I'm going to start from the centre, I think, and work outwards. And I mean, you could, if you wanted to come in with this and you could use a completely different colour, you could use a, a silver or gold or maybe the white pen. But I'm going to come in with white pencil just in a little while. So I'm going to stick with the black pen for now. But please, if you want to experiment a bit, go ahead. I'm just going to create an aura on the inside of this shape here. There we are. So I'm just following it inside and just taking my time and just following that shape. There we go. Just no rush, just sort of work around it. Okay. And I'm going to going to aura these ones as well. Now, not all of those sort of triangle shapes. I'm just going to do the, the larger ones, you know, the four on this shape. There you go. So not this one. I'm just going to do this one. There we are. And then joining that one. Then ignoring that one straight to this one. You see it's starting to sort of separate off the sections now. It looks great as one piece, but we're just going to work in, in these sections sort of one at a time. I'm just sort of getting all that prepped. Oh, good morning from the USA. That's it. I always, it's, I'm always in awe of it, the fact that, you know, we're sitting here um, and people in other countries are watching. It's just wonderful. And yes, has anybody started the tile swap yet? I've got some ideas in mind. Um, I'm planning to do it this weekend because, uh, you know, sometimes it's just nice to have that moment and sit in and, and do it. But yeah, if you've got it done, please feel free. Send it in whenever you're ready. OK, I'm going to go a little bit larger just so you can see this. You see, I've done two little lines and a curve. And then uh, I'm just going to bring this little uh, leaf shape in there. Next one. Now, if anybody hasn't watched the tile swap, it's on there. We did it on Monday. Uh, all the information is on there for you. It tells you what you've got to do, where you send it, what size your tile should be, and uh, of course, obviously, what uh, tangle we've chosen. And then I, I go through a, a couple of points on how you could use that particular tangle, and then uh, it's entirely up to you. You can create whatever you like, as long as it includes that tangle. Right, so you can see here that I'm just finished in post. Oh, well done you, Yvonne. Well done. I'm hoping for uh, quite a lot, you know, this time it'll be great. I mean, we have quite a lot. I think we've got, we've got up to 120. I want to see if we can push it and... Get it up to uh, 150 to 200. That would be wonderful. Imagine what kind of a little mosaic, a little mosaic that would make. Oh, look at a few more from different places in America. Hi there. But then, of course, you know, if you, you know, of us in England are enjoying the good weather as well, and. Some of us are from places I've never heard of. It's great. It's, uh, it's lovely to meet you. Do you know what, though? If you think this time last year, when we didn't know each other and we would never perhaps have met if it wasn't for these Facebook Lives. And, of course, this goes the same for quite a few of you out there as well, that you've met through these Lives. So that's really quite nice, isn't it? That you can meet people that like doing what you do. Okay, you see there, I've gone all the way around that centre shape and now I'm just coming around the edge and adding in a few bubbles, but then just filling in where are there any of those gaps. Oh, hello, Julie. 
That means I've got to get a zinger in, doesn't it? I don't know if I can today. I don't know if I can with this one. I'll do my best. All right. So I'm just sort of going around the edge. I'm ignoring the middle completely. I'm just going around the edge. Oh, Richard, you could use your practice book now you've got your own. And uh, try a few ideas out of there, couldn't you? No way. I've not quite decided what I'm going to do with mine yet. But... Oh, is it, Bonnie? Is it hot out there? It's been really hot this uh, couple of days. And Benji's struggled. I mean, Seth, Seth's uh, nice and mature as my dog. And he'll go and find the coolest place and just lie there. But Benji, Benji's young and stupid. And he thinks running around, you know, chasing butterflies and doing all that kind of thing is great. And then he wonders why he's too hot. I mean, he has actually been to the hairdressers and they have had a cut, as you know, but they're still hairy dogs. And it's, uh, the weather takes it out of them. So it's quite funny, actually, the other day. We uh, did some ice cubes and introduced Benji to an ice cube. He wasn't quite sure what to do with it. He tried to crunch it, but of course a bit too cold. So, I normally what I do, I put an ice cube in their water, just to cool it down a bit. So I put it in his water, and he was like, no mum, I don't like the idea of that. So he took it out of the water and put it in his own bowl. And then came for a fuss, thinking he'd done a great job, and then went back for it, and it had gone. And his bowl was just full of water. He's like, I don't get this. I don't get this. <laughs> so, yeah. He's, uh, that was his first experience with an ice cube, bless him. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We've got a little bit of a design going on there. And, uh, you know, we could fill, fill the section in there. I might come back and fill that in with black. I'm just going to leave it and see, see how it grows. And uh, Okay, not going to worry too much about that for now. So let's go in a bit more. And I'm going to sort of address these sort of little triangles here. I'm going to put... Uh, bit of a line in and then fill it that side with lines and that side with lines okay oh christine's just sketch it out first you know don't uh, it's a nice challenge isn't it to do your own thing and, and i will want to get it right so uh, just sketch it out first and see how it goes i do that sometimes i mean these tiles don't sort of just appear and go straight down on a tile. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. It takes a bit of thought. And it's nice to just try a few things now and again. I'm going to fill that in while I'm at it. You know, so you've, you've got to sort of see how it grows. You know. Sometimes plan a little bit. Only sometimes. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's focus on this one here. Where I've just sort of coloured that little bobble in. And I'm going to just come on the top section here. So it's going to come from the top of the bobble. Let's add in a little shape. And then I'm going to go this side. You see, I've sort of curled it a little bit. And then here, a bit of a curl. So then you can either do one side at a time. So do all one side and then come and do the other. Or you can do left and right, left and right. See that? I'm going to do another one there and another one there. Okay, kind of like that. Right. Next one. So same again. I'm going to start with that little bobble there. And then another one, but give it a bit of a kink. Same here. Bit of a kink. And then another one, and another one. You see, this way it gets it's a little bit of a bump, getting it from one to the other there, because I'm working on two tiles, but it's okay. So I've got one, two, three, I've got three there. I'm gonna, yeah, see, three there, look. Three on each side. Now again, if you want to, you can do four, or you can do five. You can completely fill the shape. But let's have a go, see, I'm gonna go one, two and that one's going to go over three see 
So you could do one side and then the other. Oh, gone a bit longer there, see? This is why I'm starting to change the shape and that's okay. Well, that's because uh, I'm working in a different format, but it looks similar. There we are. Let's do this one. Oh, hey, Bob. All right, so there we go. Look, I did that and did a bit of a kink. Same that side. I prefer doing it this side, actually. You know, one side like that and then the next. Yeah, that sort of suits me today. There we go, one in there. All right. So, of course, you can come on in. I'm just going to add that little line in with a bobble on. All right. And again, it's nice. These little bobbles are sort of really lead, lead themselves to wanting to be gel penned, don't they? Or a little bit of glitter on or something. But you could just leave them as is. But there's all these opportunities for adding extra bits and pieces in. All right, same this side. And again, you could put uh, two or three dots in there if you wanted. You don't have to do this. You can do lots of different. There we go. I must say, I, I am still keeping an eye on the Santangle group page as well, and it's lovely to see what you're posting on there. Some fantastic cute dragons. I wonder where they've come from. And, uh, some larger dragons as well. I think you're doing a, a great job. Not to forget the phoenix, you know, all that new beginnings and things. I think you're having too much fun out there. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great to see all the different things that you're doing. It's, I'm impressed. Okay, so we've got that going. So let's have a look at... Uh, what shall I, I'm going to come and do this one. I'm going to leave that one for a minute. I'm going to come and do these ones. And I'm going to do that aura again. Around this shape here. So I'm going to treat that as... I'm not going to go down there. So I'm just going to treat that as one whole shape there. And join that one in. Okay. And then, Same here. There we go. And into that one. Join that there. Oh, Charlotte, you're gonna have to train it better. You have to uh, tell it it can only eat one goat, not two, <laughs> until it sorts itself out. It's a. Uh... Oh. If I get a chance, I'll do a, I'll do a demo of how to do the dragon again. I know on Craig Croft, you don't always get, um, you don't always get the full demo. I do apologise if you've just heard. Uh, my husband's just come on in with a kind of raid, <laughs> sprayed. I feel like I'm choking now. No warning. But I, I have had a fly that's been annoying me for the last, it feels like the last three days. I'm sure it's following me. <laughs> there we are. Okay. I don't know. Things they do, eh? There we are. Straight into there. Just doing that little aura as I'm going around. Okay, next one. So just following the line. See, so just making that's okay, that little kink in there. It really doesn't matter. There we go. And into that one. And then to this. Just taking my time. Alright. Okay. And I'm just gonna join that one there. All right. Oh, Sheila, and that was it's rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> but, you know, if we're going to have hot weather, we're going to have flies, so that's not a problem. It's okay. All right, so what have we got going on here now? I'm going to stick with my black pen, I think. And what I'm going to do is, working in these shapes here, and I'm going to do a curl this way. 
and then a curl this way. You see, so it's sort of a mirror image. So let's do the same on all of them. Curl and a curl. I'm turning it round and a curl. So it's almost like we are sort of repeating. It's all about that process again, isn't it? Doing those curls. So then let's do one this way. So you see, opposite direction. And around again. This way. If you're not sure, just take your pen and pretend you're going to draw just for a minute, just to sort of get it going the right way. And then when you're comfortable with it, then come on in and draw your curl. And again. So from here. You don't have to be, you know, same size, it's fine. I'm just wanting it to get its way around. So you see I've got those all the way around now. Here, John now in the kitchen causing trouble. He's been to the post office for us. So. He comes back in, he's like a whirlwind. Suddenly everything was quiet. And there he is again. Right, okay, I can get another one in here. So let's do another one. Okay, just sort of in that corner. Same again, and again, and turning it round. Oh, Bonnie did, but oh, don't you feel like you've achieved something? <laughs> I know some of, some of them are quite a challenge, I know. But if they were all easy, you'd get bored, you would. Uh, oh, Vicky, yeah, of course. There are some tangles I don't, I choose not to do uh, because, you know, they're not my favourite. You see, I'm just sort of filling in those little gaps. Um, and there are some that I do draw or sketch out and I think, do you know what, that's not going to, it's not going to do what I want it to do, so I discard it. But I don't actually throw them away, I keep them. And then maybe at some point come back to them. But uh, yeah, I think as well, when you, you're teaching it as I am here, I wanna make sure that what I'm producing or what I'm creating, you can reproduce. I know some of them are harder than others, but I say, I'm giving you a bit of a challenge. But if something, you know, if I try something and I think, oh, that's a little bit too complicated and it, that would take longer than the hour, then maybe I put it to one side and we, well, we could do that in a class at some point, but uh, it's it's all about really, yeah, enjoying the moment. But I want you to achieve success. So if, uh, if I pick one and it doesn't quite do what I want it to do, then uh, I won't I won't bring it to the live. But yeah, my own personal tangling. There are some tangles that I don't particularly use and I think no it's not it's not what I'd want to use but, but uh, everybody's different there we are so we've got a bit of an outside sort of shape going on now it's kind of nice isn't it like that okay I think what I'm going to do is a little bit of uh, drama in here and let's just fill in those shapes around the edge there Look a little bit sort of filigree lace kind of thing. There we are. Same on this one. Of course you can change the shape a little bit when you colour them in. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. There we are, just uh, filling it in. Okay. So just uh, get my time. 
Oh, we're hoping to get uh, a painter in next week. We've got somebody coming to have a look at the place, giving us a quote, so it would be nice to have the, uh, the walls and everything painted. It's all ready for that now. In the new place, we're still working on getting power in there. That's a whole different story. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's going to be great. I was having a chat with Pauline this morning, our Pauline Wheeler. and She can't wait. She's going to come up and do a class at some point. So that's something we can look forward to, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Love that. Okay, so let's have a look now. Let's address this one. We could do all sorts of things in here, couldn't we? We've got quite a big shape there to work within. So let's have a look. I don't want to do the same as this one. I want to do something a little bit different. So, of course, at some point, we can sort of look around at um, the boards that we use. Because as we know, we've got our tangle boards and we lean on them. But there's lots of different designs, you see, all within there. So we could come up with something completely different. I kind of like the idea of the, the swirls. So let's let's put one or two of those in. Now the swirl that's on my board is a slightly wobbly one, but I'm gonna just stick with a swirl. I mean, if you wanna do the wobbly one, you can do that, it's fine. And then let's do another. And then of course, as it sort of touches each other, they go underneath and it's looking like they you know, they're all higgledy piggledy on top of each other and things. So again, be aware that, of course, when you come to your the coloured tile, I'm going to have a bit of a step there, but that's okay. I know it's coming. Um, another one. If you feel that you're getting into a pattern, then you don't want it to be a pattern, because we want it more random, then start at a different point on your space. And you'll create a different variation. There you go. We'll have a little one in here. Well, again, it can go underneath. There we go. And then let's have one here. All right, now if you wanted to do a large one that filled the whole shape, you could. You don't have to do all these little ones. Oh, I think this is working quite well. I mean, I've got a, a different tangle in my one I've actually drawn up, but sometimes you think, you know what, I've got a plan, but I'm going to change it because it, it feels right doing something different. And then, of course, any of the gaps that we've got left, just go ahead and fill them in, just like we've done before. See there, I'm going to put this one in. All right, so let's just have a bit in there. You know, if you need a bit of extra black, just, you know, colour a little bit in. There we go. So let's do the next one. Let's go a bit larger so you can see where I'm going with this. So let's start here again. And of course, I'm going sort of clockwise. You can go anti-clockwise if you want. You can do both. Hey, that's a challenge. Can you do both? So... You've got to really focus the mind to do that because otherwise you get a bit, a bit carried away with them. There we go. All right. Let's have a little one there. So, now, of course, if you've only got one tile, you've not used a tiny one, you're going to find this easier because you've not got to sort of step over one and then the other. You could even colour in the centrepiece if you wanted to, to make it look like you've got a tiny tile. Now, there's another way of doing it. But it's kind of nice working on the two colours. They, they complement each other really well. So it's, it just sort of changes it a bit. It makes it a little bit more interesting when you're working on it. There we go. And of course, you can you know do them as separates and then incorporate them. But I kind of like working on both of them together. So a little bit of a different experience. There we go. So I'm gonna fill those little spaces in. That 
Again, you could come in and fill those with different colours, it's fine. And to this one. This is turning in to be quite a piece, isn't it? It's sort of a grid, but it's not. It's got organics in it, but it's not fully organic. So I think it's got the best of both worlds, this one. There we go, over and around. That's it, keeping it going. Just in sort of smaller swirls. Some are bigger than others, so I'm going to do that one bigger because I'm going to get that one in there. Okay, let's turn it round a bit. And draw in this one. There we go. Just don't forget when you're drawing this, because I know we do it, breathe. All right, take a deep breath. Don't forget to breathe in and out. And I think the other thing that we do as well is, is the more you do this, the tighter your grip gets on your pen. So it's always worth sort of being reminded of that and just saying, right, just let go of your pen for a minute. Just let go, you know, just sort of relax it again. And then come back in. Remember, the pen's the one that's going to do the work. So you don't need to press on and you don't need to hold your pen tightly. You just want to guide it so it's putting the ink on the page. See? Feel better now you've had that breath. <laughs> I know. We all do it. We were saying today actually, it's sometimes Leslie will come into the office where I'm perhaps doing my design or whatever and she'll talk to me and I, I didn't hear a word of it. Sorry Leslie. And it's not that I'm ignoring her, it's just that I was so involved in what I was doing. I didn't even know she'd <laughs> she'd come in. It's a good job we know each other, isn't it? There we are. <laughs> I know. See, you do that breathing in and breathing out, and suddenly you think, oh, yeah. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> I'm not going to have you, you know, standing up and shaking your arms around and doing all sorts of exercises, though. We, we're, we're British. <laughs> I oh, know we don't uh, we don't <laughs> we don't tend to do that, do we? Even in the comfort of our own homes, we're like, no, I'm not doing that. It's funny. Leslie did ask actually if I was going to dress up for the next um, sort of product range kind of thing, and I was just like, no, <laughs> not at all, not in the slightest. Okay, let's have a look at this. All right. There's quite a lot going on there, isn't there? It's lovely. I can't wait to start shading it. But uh, I think we're almost there. I think I'm just going to swap to a thicker pen. Just because uh, I want to... Remember those little bumps that we did? Oh, no. I'm just going to add in those. A bit of, you know, a bit. I'm just going to fill in those bumps there. It's sort of like they got a bit lost and it'd be kind of nice to bring them back. There we go. Okay. Sometimes, as though as we don't want a lot of black on our tiles, it's, it's nice to have that little bit of drama in there. And then, of course, if you put black on and you think, I've put too much on, then you could always go back over and add a tangle or two in the white pen and that'll help to sort of balance it up a bit. There we go, see the difference that makes? That's nice. Okay. So, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna bring in my pencil now. I'll start with that first. And I'm gonna start in the centre and whip my way out. Oh, quick sip of tea. Deep breath. <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to go a bit... Oh, have I? Oh, I... oh not to worry. I can go back and fill it. There we go. Missed the black areas. Let's put a few more in there. It's because I got carried away doing something else. Oh, there you go. Look, I'm just... I've 
fill in those little areas. I'm just gonna, I don't want them to be massively black areas, but any little bits. There we go. All done. <laughs> Halloween? Oh, no. No. No, I, I'm, I, I have dressed up before, I have done fancy dress, but it's not for me. No. Okay, a little bit of pencil in there. I'm going to ignore the sort of leaf shapes, but I am going to come around the shape itself and add in some pencil. Now, I know I'm using a dark tile and graphite doesn't always show up, but I'm still going to do it because... I can still see it a bit and it just needs that that layer of darkness there okay now you might think oh she's not done anything here no I didn't want to I'm just gonna come on in and just add some pencil aside in amongst all the craziness and all the tangles at times it's nice to have a little bit of blank space just so your eye can rest and calm for a minute before it moves on to look at the next thing. It just sort of works well that way. Oh, Lorraine, don't you worry about it. You focus on your dragons and getting those done first. We've got time for the other. We've got time. Okay, see, I've just put a little bit in there. I'm gonna do the same on the others. There we go. See, just a little bit. Same on here. So I'm not really colouring in. I know I say this a lot, but I know that there are sometimes the people come and watch that have not seen it before. I'm just applying graphite. It's it's, uh, it's not about colouring in because obviously our tortillon's going to come in and, and do that work for us. So again, I'm just going to go around the outsides. Okay, same with this one. Just the pen. And then I'm going to do the same with this one as well. Sometimes just keeping this, the shading simple. But let's, uh, you know, once we put a bit of white in there as well, we're going to get quite an effective, or well, I hope we are anyway, quite an effective uh, bit of shading going on. There we are. Okay, just. Uh, around the outsides. Again, don't worry about it being too neat. It's just if you've got quite a narrow space, then just don't overdo it with the pencil. You can always go back and do another layer. And yeah, you can rub it out, but it's easier to add it rather than take it away. So uh, if you're not sure, do it in a couple of layers. All right, let's get to this one. This is the great part, isn't it? And you add all this and you think, oh no, I've gone all up, all over those lovely drawings I've done. What am I doing, making a mess? And then on the next, uh, the next phase. Okay, so I'm just gonna very gently touch in that little bit of pencil there. Now what I'm actually doing, I'm not touching the edge, I'm just touching where the pencil touches the paper and, and sort of help sort of smooth it out a little bit more so going back and forth here it's just sort of moving the graphite just in a little bit but not all the way see i still want to see those little leaf shapes there we go just working it back and forth now sometimes i work in swirls and sometimes i work in lines there we go. Now working in lines just means I cover more ground because I want to keep it sort of more, sort of straighter. But there we go. See, just leaving that little gap in the middle. There we are. Same on this one. Okay, and of course, to this one. So then we're into these little, let's do these, because we work, we work in the same order as we, we drew it. So again, I'm just sort of working my way 
up each shape but I'm not completely covering each shape. It's like when you use watercolour, isn't it? And we've got watercolour paints for the first time and we fill the whole thing with colour and you're like, well, it doesn't look like watercolour because it's all one colour. It's all about leaving a little bit of the paper behind. But you can actually see a bit of a difference. So, uh, I'm quite into all watercolours at the minute, as you well know, with the, the metallics things okay so now I'm, I'm sort of creating swirls because I want to sort of push this into the center but I don't want to you know overdo it if you do sort of swooshes like this you can move too much so uh, going in swirls just sort of makes it gives you a little bit more control of the area you're working on you see And of course, if you're using pastel pencils, you'll work in exactly the same way as this because your tortillon will, will move them as well, that mean the chalk. If you're using regular pencils, then you're going to have to blend it yourself because tortillon doesn't necessarily do it. You might find a little bit of baby oil on a tortillon would work, but you have to give those a practice. Okay, so again, just going to sort of ever so gently work my way around each of these shapes. You see, just giving it a bit of a swirl, but I'm trying to leave some of the original and the middle left undone. Okay, so the same again. And again, you don't really need to press on. You only have to apply a bit of pressure if it's really needed. Just a quick sip of tea there. Deep breath again. That's good. All right. I think that's the nice thing as well. When you're sitting comfortably and you get comfortably and you're getting on with this, it's you do forget. And that's the whole idea. You want to forget what's going on around you. You don't want to forget to breathe. There we go. Same on this one. Leslie and I are heading out this weekend to a socially distant garden party, the WI. So uh, looking forward to that. It's one of them things you never know, do you? You know. We'll see if it works. Hopefully, we won't get too much thunder and lightning and things like that. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come in now with my white chalky pastel pencil. And I'm just going to add a little bit in the middle there. You see, not much at all. And then I think on some of the leaves, I'm just going to add you know, just some of them that sort of stand out. A little bit of a leaf line there. Okay, I'm going to work some in the middle of those shapes. Look at the difference with that white. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit to the tips of those flowers. Let's see. Okay, let's uh, go on a little bit bigger so you can see it. You see, I'm just adding a little bit to the tips there. Okay. Same on this one. Just holding on to my tile in the middle there because after all it's only got a little bit of blue tack holding it in place. There we go. Same on this one. Another next bits there. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm I do anything no I'm not going to do anything with those I'm going to leave those but I am going to put a line there now if you haven't got a white chalky pencil or a pastel then come on in with a you know a sharp edge on a rubber and rub out 
like a highlight line because you'll find that you'll still get that that line even if you you know you use a bit of a So because it's sort of on the grey already, I'm going to use my, my touching I've been working with and I'm just going to sort of touch it in. I'm not trying to move it too much. I just want to sort of soften the edges a little bit. So I'm very, very light pressure and I've actually, I'm holding it up further back than I normally would. So I don't want to sort of press too hard. I'm just being really... Gentle. I'm not going to go all around and do those, just if there's a few standing out. Again here, I'm just going to ever so gently just sort of do a little bit of a zigzag down them. Just to sort of, you know, press it into the paper a little bit, that's all. On the next one. Let's see. So we're not far off done with this, I think we just... A little bit of redefining with our black pens in places. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so far so good. So, as I say, back in with my black pen. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to redefine this edge here. Okay, just sort of back and forth a little bit. I'm not trying to make it too thick and too black. I'm just going back over the edge just to sort of redefine that line to say, look, I'm here. Okay. When the line's already there, it just needed a little bit of bringing back out. And I'm going to do the same with this one here. Okay. See, so obviously between the two bubbles there, you don't need anything side it's just on those curves there yeah on that one there now just to enhance that one as well i'm just going to come back in with my white pencil let's go a bit larger again and just the other side of that line i'm just going to add the white Okay, so I'm not touching the black that I've just put on. So I'm going to do that side as well. I'm just going to come in and add a white round there. Let's do that one as well. See, I'm not adding a lot of pressure on. Just taking my time, just adding that white in. Let's have a look at the difference that's made. There we go. So we're really now looking at that centerpiece. So again, black pen, and I'm just going to draw around the leaf shapes, just the, sort of touching the centre. So I'm not going to go around the whole thing, just the middle bit there. Now I did think about, if you remember me, me just colouring that middle bit in black. But by doing this and just going around the outside, it just makes the difference in there. So it looks like it's, it's a little bit more in sort of depth wise. Okay, liking this. So I'm just going to do, um, again, I'm just going to reinforce this line around the top here. Yeah. And then just down the sides. There we go. Just making sure that I'm in line. And the same here. There we go. Same on this one. Now, of course, you could choose to enhance the lines of this one. And that would give it a slightly different look. I'm not going to do both. I'm just going to do the one. Because, of course, we don't want to, you know, just sort of go back and draw around every single line. Because that sort of defeats the object of creating a bit of dimension. So I've chose this one. And then, of course, the last one there. Just making sure I'm lined up. And along with this one, and into there. Let's have a look at that. Okay, nearly done. Oh, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, 
lots of leaves making up one. It's uh, kind of nice that, it's just giving it that little bit of again, organic in the middle. And again, I'm just enhancing this line here. It's the one with a little kink in it there. And again, you could go around the whole thing, but then that sort of means that you've just got a black line around it all that's the same. Just by doing the one, it just gives it a little bit more dimension. Now it's really tempting to go all the way around the outside with the raw bubbles, but that's obviously dependent on time. I'm sure we're getting to the stage where I'm sure you can add that in if you want to. There we go. Okay, completely different, isn't it? Where you're, uh, you know, where you added those extra sort of lines and a little hint of colour wouldn't go amiss maybe on some of these little dots here. But I do like that one and I do think um, maybe a row of bubbles around the outside would look kind of nice. But, um, I'm going to assign it as that. I'm going to leave it as that one. There we go. Somehow. But I do have one. Uh, I've done a... It's a little the same but different. Let's, let's have a look at it. Just to sort of show you that you could do, you know, different things and colours. So there's the one there. Look how that grey now just sort of works into it, doesn't it? The grey and the pink. This one I've built up ready in terms of a, like a card topper, I would say. So there we go, there's our shape, just as before. Oh yeah, look, so similar thing in the middle. And then of course you've got these quite highlighted, whereas here I've used colored pencil. And then of course you've got your shape here as before, but then I've changed it here a little. I've done a slightly different one. And then I've extended it out even more onto my die cut. So you can see how it sort of starts to grow and create something quite special. But the same sort of thing here, look, I've done the same shapes there that I've done there. And it's just a little bit more subtle than this one. But you can see where, depending on what colours you use and how you go about it, you get a completely different effect. I have added, if I just show you there, um, some gold. You see that onto some of the little bits and pieces. Whereas uh, with this one, we can... You know, you, maybe I'd add a little bit of a bright pink or something. But there we go. So, see, that looks almost like shading now, doesn't it? It's worked really well. I'm really pleased with that. So, by all means, if you want to carry on and, and do a few extra bits and pieces and go ahead and add those bubbles around the edge, I think I'm going to do that. But uh, otherwise, you can leave it at that. So, it's a little bit grid-like, a little bit organic. I think we've had a real good deep breath there. I think some of us needed that today. And uh, a nice sort of tile that you can mix and match with it. So whether you want to use the same design but then put different tangles in or, you know, just do it on one tile. Entirely up to you. So, uh, okay, with that in mind then, I'm going to leave you with that one. That's 157. My goodness me, done. So if you are around and about on... Friday at two o'clock, then I'd love to see you again and we'll do tile 158. But of course, in the meantime, don't forget, get your tile swap sorted and in. And uh, yeah, I'll post these and let's uh, let's see what you come up with and colour color combinations that you want to do as well. So have fun with it and take care. Don't get too, uh, too sunburnt. Don't drink too much in it, um, apart from water and tea, of course. But uh, yeah, all being well, I'll see you back here on Friday at two o'clock. So take care and bye.